Ramsdev here and today we check out the Infinite Realms update to Zenith. There was so much shit that went down in the recent weeks with this game that it's hard to comprehend what's even going on anymore but essentially the whole project kinda split in two where it has a free to play model and the legacy one the last city. There's a lot of controversy flying around and the team being disrespectful for the community. To be completely honest I'm not really surprised about those events since from my own experience I know that the devs are kind of incompetent of running the game. Inconsistent updates like in patch notes that they fixed something were in reality not at all. Especially where I had a situation that I could not play the PC VR version at all and still can't unless I do some file work that the community helped me with but the creators clearly don't give a damn about this anymore and it's a shame how the cookie crumbled but now we have this new mode and let's get into it. <laughs> So the Infinite Realms update is a brand new free to play version of Zenith where you drop in the procedurally generated world that lets you join other players in the city hub and go on an adventure through the fractured worlds, parkour your way through the environments and slash your way to escape the dungeons. I will say that it's fairly hard to tell what is the overall purpose of it. The game offers a jump boost to the previous level you've had in the last city but I I wanted to see what's the new user experience and that's when the confusion starts because it doesn't really exist. Moreover, if you've never played Zenith before then you just get instantly lost. That's kind of a surprise because the devs were heavily pushing in the previous mode to introduce fresh players with ongoing mechanics but here you're just getting dropped to the hub and then figure out yourself what to do. Not many tutorials going on, no no guidance as well where to go and how to start the runs like about one fourth of the whole gameplay I had to pointlessly run around the city like a lost child in the playground then when you finally start the thing you can just tell that in terms of polish the last city was heaps and valleys above it. I'll give them that the mechanics and the whole parkour section with the movement does seem very dynamic and much pleasant to execute like with the tricks and you just overall feel better moving and flying around but again problem is that you have to know beforehand how to do those stuff. So in my mind the OG mode should be experienced first and Infinite Realms is some sort of an extension if you're looking for more diverse and session based quick matches. I just wonder what's gonna be the state of the community where now this is a free to play mode dropping the MMO part kinda loses its whole charm. I'll have to see if I really want to dwell more into this mode, however with the whole ambience and how the people around it behave recently, I don't know if that's really worth it. Let's check out the infinite realms. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, okay, that's nice. But I'm not gonna use the level boost because I want to know what's the beginner user experience. So I don't know if I should treat it as a new game or not, like... A lot of things will be familiar. If it's the characters, NPCs, UI... Like, <laughs> it's just... It might be just the same thing over and over. Let's just say that the resolution is... Garbage. <laughs> it's not even garbo, it's absolutely pure, full garbage. Like, it's just jacked edges everywhere. The textures for quests, I suppose, look nice with the whole ambience and the city landscape. But I just don't like when the resolution is just like attacking my eyes. Hey, over here. Ready to work? And the performance is still chunking, just like in the original. Get it done, agent. It 
It's just through time tutorial, pretty much. And why am I gliding so slow? Grapple? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I almost fell here. Oh, okay, that's nice. And I have a bow for some reason. What class am I? Well, I mean, I am a bowman, so this suits me perfectly. Holding grip, chop the air with either hand. Okay, so like something wrenched. But that's interesting here with this. Like the dynamic is absolutely upgraded. But I would really have to see how it looks on the PC VR cause. Quest version of this game, either free to play or paid, is not the full potential at all. <laughs> but I like the grappling actually. So what do I do now? City instances. Well, yeah, because I don't think this city can hold a lot of people at the same time. We have the classic menu, but very reduced if it's because of my level or not. Yeah, a lot of things were copied for sure. Hey, over here! Greetings, agent. Make your way out into the wasteland groove. And where is it? I don't even have a map. Over here, Adventures are available behind each gate. I don't know where to go. <laughs> There we go, finally smooth FPS's. I don't think that's here. What do I do? <laughs> like there's not much visual guidance to me. Silver gate. Ah, okay. So that's the gate. I suppose copper, red, yeah, iron. Why would you mark silver as red? <laughs> Now I'm confused. I think it's this one. Damn, so many minutes just to search where to go. Well, I won't reach this point with no gliding... What's going on? Like... This does not seem 
too pleasant to play. <laughs> yeah, but my gliding is just garbo. Like, I don't know how to change it. I also don't remember what was my setting before, but maybe sensitive? Well, at least I'm moving faster, so whatever. Dude, what's going on? Okay. So is this the main gameplay parkour or...? I like how they recycled the soundtrack. Am I the only one that did not jump boost myself? What are those? Don't touch me! Oh my god, I don't have my movement set up at all. It's like some sort of a ninja copy class or something. I'll move away. <laughs> What's the goal, really? I like that now it's more possible to do some kind of tricks. It could be cool if mastered. I don't know if I'm missing something or... This feels incomplete. Oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> Gliding and the movement is like trying to fight with itself. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this seems kind of fun. Uh, and the arrows, the same as Ninja Class, they replenish. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Can be very chaotic. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, like I'm just here fighting enemies and maybe that was the goal, <laughs> but there's just no guidance whatsoever. Oh wait, I forgot I had this skill. And this is spending mana, okay. Chaos. Finally something unlocked. <laughs> we can't reach. Maybe I'll just climb manually. gonna be like the skill progression and stuff because it seems like everyone has the same class I like how even I don't have mana I still attack them <laughs> So what's the point, like? Because there are like two blades, one big and then small. Oh, something big's coming. I'm getting blocked and just... it's a mess. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Come back here. I think that was supposed to be a boss music. <laughs> oh wow, there's more stuff going on. Interesting. This seems like a parkour, so whatever, but... I don't really know how to feel about this, really. The thing is that the new user experience is almost non-existent. Like, if you don't know Zenith beforehand... Nice. Frank skip. Then I don't know if that really invites you to play, per se. So, like, still, to me, the OG MMO is the starting place, and this is, like, an extension, if you, like, looking forward to new mechanics. I do love the movement with the grappling and then combining the archery, like that seems a pretty cool situation going on. There's still a lot of unpolishedness going on if it's with the resolution, monsters just blinking out and a little bit of a chaos going on, but this seems kind of like a fresh take on Zenith, I suppose. Is it enticing enough to invest in it? Not quite sure, because this is transitioning to a whole different genre of VR gaming, so at the same time it's competing with best of the best and this doesn't really fall in the top list in terms of the polishness and just mechanical tightness. Like, it's cute, but nothing really mind-blowing. I would have to see what's happening on the PC VR side, so we might explore it further later on. So far it's a little bit confusing, but eventually maybe it's gonna smooth itself out.